Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Grand Ages Room with me, Grey Hunter, where I decided that the first thing before we start our next mission, which is going to be the City of Nobles for Marcus Junius Brutus, that I would show you guys uh, what we're doing in regards to estates and such. So because we've been doing the, uh, the missions later in the game, we've unlocked better estates, which is nice. So what I've done is I've replaced a couple of the ones we previously had. So we used to have the farms in Etruria, if I can find it. There it is. We used to have this. Plus five wheat and plus five meat. I thought to myself, well that's useful. This is better. So I got the Utica docks, which provides plus 20 flour and plus 20 iron ore, which meant we could get rid of our iron mine as well. Now plus 20 flour is more useful than plus 5 wheat, obviously, because it's, you know, an extra 15, but also because wheat needs to be put through the water mill before you can actually use it to make bread. So this bypasses that step entirely, and it's very good because we need flour for our opening setup, at least in terms of food satisfaction and such. So it works. The other one I got was the farms in Memphis, which I believe we got in the last mission we did. And the reason I got that was because we were able to get rid of the iron mine, and also because olive oil is still valuable as a trade resource, even if our patricians don't require it. And wine, wine again, it's a good early setup thing. So these two are kind of late game estates, but they're very very good, at least in my opinion. I don't see a reason to swap this out for anything at the moment, same with this, I mean 30 recruits, I guess we're not really using them as much because we've kind of gone past the war missions. But as far as I know, we're going to be going into the second civil war as well, so I'm going to keep it for now. These two, they're quite good. I don't think there's a, there's a better one for marble. There might be. There's a better one for stone, but eh, stone's not really the most important of things. We can get that easy enough. This one actually doesn't look too bad, Brazindium Docks, but it's basically good for a setup where you're relying on building quickly to finish off food production and such, so, you know, it's useful, but I don't know, I think this has more application. It's it's good though. We might We might try it out later. Maybe. Maybe. But probably not. <laughs> so accept, lock it in, and Marcus Junius Brutus, would you tell us what we're going to be doing for you? Salve. Dark thoughts are plaguing my mind, friend. Do you hear the, the voices? People that call themselves my friends are only trying to use me in my name. They talk of duty and friendship, but they are deceiving me, clouding my judgment. I must do what is right for the Republic and the people. I have taken command of Dalmatia. But my present situation keeps me away from the province. I am making you governor of the capital. I can see the city blossoming into one of the greatest Roman colonies. Build a prosperous city for the nobility, without the rabble of the lower classes. Yes, he's definitely hearing the voices. I do like, though, how every time, every time he takes command of something, I have taken command of Dalmatia in this case, but remember he took command of Genoa too, He's like, I've taken command, but I can't get there, so uh, you handle it. Thank you, Brutus, you're doing so swell. So he wants us to build a prosperous city for the nobility without the rabble of the lower classes. That doesn't sound very Republican to me, but then again, the Roman Republic was a little bit... odd, as it were. It had a nobility class. It wasn't, it wasn't really a republic in the sense of uh, what we'd think today as a democratic republic. It was very weighted towards the patrician class and the, the uh, belief of nobility. So, we've got a time limit of 45 minutes, we need to build the Circus Maximus and achieve 60% average satisfaction in everything. Easy. Bonus objectives are to build 30 houses, get more personal wealth, gain 10,000 denarii through trade, get a little bit more personal wealth. Not too bad. We'll receive research points constantly on this mission. Nice. And because we're the Flavii, that just adds to our natural bonus. And he's given us some stones, some slaves, some authority per minute, but that's a constant one. Some goods, excellent. And some research points and some of that. Cool, okay, so we'll start the mission. Now the interesting thing about this mission is it's got a little bit of a twist that he didn't tell us about. Well, I guess he did, in his own way, he told us about it. But the twist is that you cannot get insular. When he says he wants to build it without the lower classes, he's serious. 
you cannot build any insula. It's just not a thing that will transpire. It cannot be done. So we're going to make an opening setup of... Damn. I really want to reach that stone. Okay, well we can place the slave market here and we'll sort it out in a minute. So our opening setup is going to have to be, by necessity, one that relies heavily on slave labor. Because we do not have... Okay, we need some more wood. Well, in that case we'll just start up the clock. It's going to rely heavily on slaves, because we do not have the ability to get plebs. So we're going to have to farm and gather resources entirely with our slaves. Okay, but we do have equites, and we do have patricians, and because of our bonus to patricians, we're actually uh, better off at this than most of the other families, I believe, in my opinion, of course. You know, so I could easily be wrong. But it seems to me that it's easier because our patricians don't require anything, which means we can build them. We can put patricians out there and use them to staff temples and all that fun stuff. Speaking of which, I would like to get Temple of Saturn. You're running everything? Yes, but we need more bricks. Give me more bricks. Bricky works. And another one. But we've got Building Frenzy on, so that's kind of helpful at this point in time, which means we can build a bakery. Rotate again, come on. Build bakery. And a butcher shop. And a tavern. When I get to it, an inn. And a tavern. Actually, can we tuck the tavern in there? No. Yeah, we're just going to have to settle for that slightly wonky input there. Okay, so you're running this, you're running this, you're running that, and you're running that. Theoretically. Obviously, you know, it's not going to be precisely that breakdown. But that is good. Excellent. And the patricians are doing their thing. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get another patrician villa over here. Build a road. Not quite. Build a road. Like that. And across... Don't need to put it across, I don't think. So, this trade post here, completely and utterly useless. At least for the sense of building actual trade posts, because we can't staff them. It is literally impossible. We cannot do it. It cannot be done. On the other hand, it's a nice city building experience. So we'll need you there. And I want to put a prefecture... Hmm. No, I want the prefecture over here. So we'll build another equite over here to run that, and we are going to need to research artisan markets. So architecture, you can get them. 1 minute 24, you don't have a place to work, but we can solve that. We'll build an odium. Actually, we could probably build a theatre, again. You know what, why not? Hmm. Actually, no, we'll just go with an odium for now. God damn it, camera. <laughs> it's not playing nice. Not today. Alright, we'll just build an odium over here. We're also going to, if we want to get uh, extra research points, have to rely on libraries, which are run by patricians. So again, it's very lucky that we have a patrician bonus. So, I won't build it yet. Actually, it might be better to place this next one over here. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good plan. We can't get it yet. But it'll still be handy. Library requires library technology. Well, who to thunk it? What we do need, however, is our Praetorians. So I'm going to rally them over there. And we should be almost done with artisan markets. We are. And this is another reason that we need olive oil for this one. Because you cannot get 
goods from the artisan market without olive oil. There we go. It is next to a road. I hate you sometimes, game. I really do. Just, just pointing that out. There. Are you happy now? You should be. Okay. And... Can we get the library yet? No, we cannot. How long? 13 seconds. Perfect. And Marcus Junius Brutus gives us 2,000 denarii. Now, the, one of the bonus objectives was to trade, but obviously you cannot trade by any means except by the port, so we'll have to build some ports. One, two. We're also going to need to demolish this and move it over a little bit so we can access the stone. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do that now. Actually, what does it cost to build one? Okay, three wood. So I'm going to replace it. I'm going to build it here. And then we're going to demolish this one. And this one will take over. Yeah, there we go. So we'll have a slight problem for a moment. But it should be alright. And you're using olive oil to provide food satisfaction and goods, which is awesome. Invented stagnation, but that's because we don't have any building materials at the moment. That's alright though, we can solve that problem in a moment. So, what we have in abundance is slaves. Nobody would like to buy them, so we're going to seek trade routes. And you are going to go over here. So we've entered the state of building frenzy. Oh no, we've ended it. Okay. So you'll recall that this map is one that we've been to before. This is the one where we built up our own little sort of base, as it were, to fight Pompey and stop him from getting across the map. Obviously, he's not getting across the map this time because he's not here. He's dead. He's gone. He is no more. He is an ex-Pompey. So we're going to build these aqueducts across like this. We don't really have to build them because there is some fresh water, but I'm going to build it out to there because I want to place fountains in these areas, if possible. Place one over here. You can place one there. And we should be able to place another one over here. Yes, that's a good spot for a fountain. And somebody is unemployed. Right, the patricians. I forgot about them. I'm an idiot. I forgot to build them their library. Hmm. Does that affect more or less people? Less, I think. Three versus... Oh, no. Actually, that's more effective. We'll do that. There we go. So I'm going to try and go for the uh, bonus objective to build 30 houses, as well as the Circus Maximus, but it's not the be-all and end-all of things. It'd just be nice. So how many houses do we have left to build? Why does it say 12 out of 25? If it says we need 30 houses, why does it say 12 out of 25? I do not know. It's one of those things. Come on, show me the thing I want. There we go. Outpost. Now we can build a slave market. And you guys can go... Actually... What do these folks give us? Wheat and meat. Nah, don't need it. We don't really need these Praetorians anymore, really. Not, uh, not really. They're not vital. But they're still handy to have around, so we'll just keep researching things. I probably will get a tax office in this one. Oh yeah, we can build the Senate, can't we? You know, I might do that. It's free, isn't it? No, we need marble. Well, that's okay. Now you, what can you sell? Can you sell slaves? You can sell slaves. Let's sell 20 slaves to Naxos. And you can sell what we're producing a surplus of. Nothing. We need olive oil. We also need marble, but we can sell iron. 
not enough of it. Is there an iron mine around? There is. Okay, there is an iron mine, but it's a little bit out of the way. We need that marble. How many slaves have we got left? Fifteen. How many does this take? Ten. Okay, so it's a choice between marble... Marble and iron. Marble. We need it. So we'll build you there. And we'll sell, instead of iron, we'll sell... Hmm. We could probably sell goods, actually. Let's sell 30 goods. We can probably manage that. We don't need to worry about it too much for now. We need some olive oil. Really. We can't sell goods forever. We do need some more. But for that, we require... More olive oil, which we can't get. Oh. I did not see this. I should have probably checked that. Okay. Demolish this. Get over there. We can use that area. Good, good. Alright. And we can get another patrician villa. And with that patrician villa, we can also build a tax office. They will staff it. Perfect. So, the tax office does remove the ability to tax from the forum, but it provides constant income, so it's very useful in that situation and context. So, 99% popularity. We got 99 problems? No? Apparently not. Okay. We've gained a little bit of money through trade. We need more, though. We need more! We can get the houses. That's not a biggie. Do need more marble, though. And we sort of need more of these. How much flour have we got left available? Ten. Okay, we can do it. Easy enough. So let us build the bakery over here. And the butcher shop. And the tavern. We'll need you, 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 and, ooh, that might be a problem. We'll just get three of them for now. Actually, can we place the, do we build the inn or the tavern? Build the tavern. Inn? Sweet. Yes. Huzzah! Victory. Victory is ours. So we might have to stop selling goods sooner than I'd thought. Oh no, you only consume two. That's swell. Okay. Now we need ourselves the outpost over here somewhere. Come on, Praetorians. No, get over there. We can build ourselves another one of you to run another temple. Another temple to Mars, I think. Well, Mars is good. Mars is generous. Okay, we can't build anything else for now because we need more marble, but we're doing quite well. We do, however, need to research the rest of these. So you, 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 and you. And all is well. Now, I need another one of you there. I believe we can place a slave market here and get both of them. <clears throat> so hopefully I am correct and that works out well for us. So seeing as we've got the time, I'm going to go through some things for the uh, benefit of the channel. Seeing as we have the time and you know, you're here, you're listening to me, presumably. So a little bit on the next couple of LPs that I'm planning on doing. I'm planning on doing, if I can get it to work properly, Knights of the Old Republic. 
because I love Knights of the Old Republic 1. It was, it was really, really good, I thought. It was one of my favourite games as, like, you know, a person who, who favours Star Wars. Star Wars is interesting. I like the mythology behind a lot of it. It's, a, it's an easy story to get into as well, the whole idea of you know, good versus evil and all that sort of thing. It's, it's the application, it, well, not really the application, it's the, uh, the way George Lucas goes around putting some of the story methodology things together, and I just... Ugh. Some of it's a little bit iffy, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We're talking about the LP that I plan to do of Knights of the Old Republic. So the main issue that I'm facing at the moment is that Knights of the Old Republic uses .bic files. Which is an issue because .bic, bleh, .bic files are something that most recorders won't record. So you begin to see the slight issue that I have here that it won't record the cutscenes. So it would take a lot of editing to get the LP up and running. And I'm trying to decide whether or not I can be asked doing that really because a lot of it will be down to whether or not you guys want to watch something like that so do you guys I'm putting this out there as, a, as an open poll I'm planning on doing the game eventually but for now would you guys be interested in watching a Knights of the Old Republic LP because it's something that I'd like to do but it's a it's a very difficult one, unfortunately. You know, we could build the Circus Maximus now, I think, and win. But I don't want to, I want the Senate. So we can get some old fools of our own. Um actually, will you guys be covering No. We need another one down here. Well we can't really have another one. Another hub that is. Well actually, no, I guess we could. We could substitute We can make a farmer's market. 